Oh, a bit of cloud cover today. The line not nearly as long. Just coming here to Ensenada. Didn't go down to Wayman. There's someone who came for a walk-up line over there already walking home with food. So that's a blessing. I've been walking the line for about 15 minutes to get to this end. So that's good. it's just an absolutely gorgeous day. A little bit humid. The monsoonal clouds came through. They had promised rain, but I never saw any. So maybe it'll happen today. But good, good weather. And maybe it's the turn in the summer. If we only get a hot July and that's it. As they say in Mexico, gracias a Dios. Thanks be to God. That would be really good. <laughs> I was praying. I always pray at the start of the whole thing. As we kick off the food and pray that there's more than enough food, that God would multiply it, that God would re reach in and make sure that every household gets exactly what they need. <laughs> and after I was done, I said to the workers, I said, is there anything else to our volunteers? One of them said, well, someone ran right through your orange cones up there and they're scattered all the way down the street. And I came up here and sure enough, these orange cones that you see making it so that people hopefully will come over here near the curb instead of blocking the middle of the street because next week school's back in session and we don't want to be in the way for anything as school's back in session. So we try to keep the street divided for all of this and someone had just done a suicide number and ran straight through orange cones and they were well, probably all like 50, 100 yards up the street, knocked everywhere. Couldn't have been easy on their car. So, the big excitement of the morning. I got it. Um, as you can see, lots of folks. We've got a lot of good food. We have the refrigerator and the freezer over there. One's hidden right behind the other. The painted the same color, so it's really kind of hard to tell what's what and what's where. Instead of handing out, Arlene, how you doing, girl? Instead of handing out paper this week, what they did was they set some of those boxes of paper right here with a big sign that just said, grab this free, so people could take some of that. And everyone has been excited about it. We had thought this paper would be here for an eternity, and I think we've got out of the 30 pallets we took, looks like two, four, six, eight, ten, maybe ten and a half pallets left of paper out of 30, 20, and it would be very, very easy to have given it all away today. So a lot more people have shown a great interest in it than we ever thought. So that's happening. Um, if you need paper, feel free to come by. Today, we're having, have a good week. Today, we're having Pocky Sticks delivered, a truckload, a full truckload of Pocky Sticks. After everyone getting on my case about not getting them, we had another offer on them. So, Lord only knows where we'll put pallets and pallets and pallets of Pocky Sticks, but they're on their way. Up here is the heart of our team, our volunteers who sit here and lift every single box, lift every single container, lift every single basket. They do it all. The packing team makes it all ready for us. And then we get going. UCR Mental Health, see or no? Uh, Riverside Community, yes. You see, okay. Riverside University. Hospital. Gracias. So, still have nectarines. These nectarines were picked on July 26th right here on the thing and they are like staying perfect in that refrigerator for those of you donated to the refrigerator thank you we have got yogurt i mean we have got yogurt it looks like the kind of yogurt that's on airplanes little tiny four ounce containers of yogurt so we've got baskets here patrick the drum and beat keeper of of central community drums and he's keeping the beat going here this morning hey there's beth how you doing girl Good, I'm glad West Marine let you out. Yeah. Team member with Mike over here, standing side by side. Thank you, Mike, brother. And there's Cece working over here today. I'm glad you made it in, Cece. God bless you, girl. 
Joshua over there. Joshua's the one who gives everyone the directions of what we're giving out to where, the guy who networks with anyone. If you want to connect with someone on any of our work, contact Joshua. Yep. I will give you his direct line. That's right. And you can talk to him. And if you have something in your warehouse that needs to be, today, we had something at the church. A friend gave us a washer and a dryer. And they just thought about putting it out here. And it's already out of here, right? It's gone. So it's gone. So. Yeah, they thanked me when I walked by them. So. so we have a lot of stuff donated, and it goes quickly here. Whoa, how you doing this morning? So it was a beautiful opportunity. They're giving away plant-based butter. And we discovered plant-based butter is made from coconuts. I never heard of plant-based butter before. There it is, plant-based butter. Josh and Marty picked that up on Monday. Cultured vegan butter. Mick, Mayokos. Oh, I thought it said Mykonos. Mayokos. Mayokos. Sonoma. Those hippies up in Sonoma, California. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Plant Lactose-free, palm oil-free, gluten-free, soy-free. Wow. What's in, it? What's in it? What's in it? Yeah, I was going to say, it's free of everything else, huh? Made in the lab. A hint of sea wow. salt. That's what's in Let's see if it's got carbohydrates. Total carbs, zero. Yep. Zero. Zero carbs. First ingredients, organic coconut oil, organic cultured cashews milk, filtered water, organic cashews cultured. Filtered. Man, I'm going to have to take some of this, Josh. Yeah, that look, yeah cashew, cashew oil and coconut oil. Oh, that might be pretty good. I might it's try butter? that. Man, I'm going to have to. Well, they're calling it butter. <laughs> but... I'm gonna have to give that a try. Anyway, this is what we're doing, how we're doing it, how it's going today. They're filling up trunks from all over the community so that people have food for the week to come. Thank you to everyone who donated the forklift, who donated the truck, who donated the pallet jack, this electric pallet jack, which they put to such good use, who donated for the big new refrigerator donated for the big new freezer who donated you know we always say we've spent x amount of money but that doesn't include how much money we've spent on utilities or on the great big items that make this entire work so much easier and reaches so many people across our community every single week thank you so very much may god richly bless you and as one of our donors came up with to see my yoko's creamery sonoma california Give their cultured vegan butter a try. I'm going to give it a try. Have a great week. May God richly bless you and everything you say and everything you do.